Okay, what up everybody? It's your favorite Asian robot right here. Look at me glitching in and out of reality. I've been waiting to do this for a while and just upgraded uh, some of my software to help me do this again. I've missed doing this from the old videos, you know? Anyway, what I'm here to do today is actually to show you actual evidence, which I finally have, that the official Discord, that the official Donald's Discord people want you to fail. All right, check this out, okay? They've been doing this for a while, but they've never been this dumb about it. So I've struggled to show proper evidence and proof, but this time, caught in 4K, all right? So here we go. Let me start by showing you the evidence. So I woke up this morning and saw that this dude had, now this, war, the Insane Warpike build from Nick the Ninja, which I recently posted, has gotten quite a bit of attention, even though it's on my sub account with like, what, 400 something subs? So, um, it's definitely not on my main Asian robot account, but, all right, this guy went out of his way to comment three times, okay, and state the following about the build. He says, Alexander Davis, now, I'm sorry if you got your identity stolen, this is probably a fake account, Pro I mean, they're too scared to ever post their real names out there, but I dare any of them to do so, okay? It doesn't melt anything, it's super bad, there's no damage or sustain, it's just horrible, if you can't come up with better yourself, doesn't pay to even try, English is bad. So it's probably Captain Maelstrom, you know, being a racist, as always. Um, Maelstrom, you should really come out of hiding, by the way. Upsets me massively because I'm an Asian robot fan, but this is bad, like all other streamer, bad, bad, should not show this, I feel cheated, will never watch or play Dauntless. Bro, why does this build suck so much, takes me half an hour to kill one behemoth? Same build, not good, don't do it unless you can dodge every attack that comes your way, might as well use. Okay, so, um, I actually went and sourced all the rubbish comments. Okay, check this out. Doesn't melt anything, super bad. So this is, this is on the video itself, you can go check out the video if you want to, alright? So I actually went and sourced the comments, alright, just so that they couldn't delete them, alright? And the last one here shows the comments in full detail. Okay, and here's the key. When you expand one of the comments, it says, I will never want to watch or play Dauntless again. Bad, makes me super sad that there's that this is even a video. D-A-I-N-T, watch, just a waste of time. I can barely kill same level shit with this. They have made a claim that you cannot kill things of the same level with this build. Okay, ladies and gents. Okay, here we go. Like I said, the Dauntless official Discord only wants you to use meta builds because the meta builds actually make you a worse player by requiring you to play almost flawlessly. This is the worst play style in the game because it's only for people who want to compete for trials, which you don't have to do to even get a majority of the rewards. All you need to do is get top 101 weapon, which is very easy to do. Look at me glitching in out of reality. I've missed this. Anyway, so... Let's actually disprove their claim live in this video, just so that you guys can finally have the evidence that the Donald's official Discord and their chosen partners, their chosen creators, the people who support them and the people whom they support, they don't post good builds. They'll post things like Earth Cell builds. They'll post all this stuff because they want you to fail at the game, okay? Let me show you. First and foremost, here is the exact same Warpike build, all right, that I post up in my video. How do we check the source? Well, here is the video, all right? Can you see the same perks? Let's line them up side by side. I'll cover my handsome face for a little bit, okay? You can see the same perks. A Aegis, Berserker, Cascade, Catalyst, Galvanize, Adrenaline, Parasitic. Here's the, here's the kick in the can. I'm not even gonna change out Catalyst and I'm not gonna use any tonics, all right, when I do this test. In addition to the fact that I'm not gonna use my left hand. Okay, this is, where, this is where the fun begins, okay? So I, I've got the exact same build, no hanky-panky, no video cuts, unlike the other people who make Donald's videos, always video cuts, have you seen that? No video cuts here. Why? Because here we're going to show you how things actually work. So, we are now going to go into a hunting ground. Now, I've got a level 7 war pike. You can see that up there. Level 7, yeah? Okay, we're going to go to an area with a level 7. Seven behemoth, which is Frost March. Okay, we're gonna go into Frost March right now, and we're gonna find ourselves a nice little level seven behemoth. All right, like I said, oh look at my shoulder! Look, at my shoulder's disappearing. <gasps> I have, I have missed this so much. I'm sorry. I'm very excited. Okay, so like I said, um, we're gonna use no left hand to do this except to get to the behemoth and once the fighting starts i'm going to take my left hand off my keyboard i'm going to hold it up so that you guys can see i'm not going to use my left hand 
okay? So, while we wait for the loading, um, Dead Island 2 had a very successful launch, and let me give you a bit of background as to why these official Donald's people are so upset. The Donald's official group is so upset at me because I stopped streaming Donald's recently, as you know. I mostly just do videos for my fans, um, but I have no interest in streaming Donald's anymore. Um, although you can still hire me for heroic escalation runs, I charge 50 bucks a run if you want. Um, and they know that their video traffic is dropping because of that. So I am not coming back. I am now partnered with two other lovely games and a third is on the way already. So I, I will not be engaging in any of that. If they, if they want to do that, you know, that's on them. I, I wish them well. Okay. Now. We don't have a level 7 behemoth here, but we do have a level 8 Pengar. Take note that I have an elemental disadvantage since this is an Urska weapon which has a frost element, right? So, here's the kick in the can, like I said, okay? I am not going to use my left hand. Alright? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna use the potions, which you can already see. So other than to get to the behemoth, alright? We're not going to use our left hand. Here it is. Alright. I'm going to let this thing come toward me. Alright. Alright. Now, I'm going to move with my right hand. So let's fight this one-handed. Alright. Just for, just for the fun of it. Okay. This is to show you guys that even if things are really hella bad. Okay. The build still works. And that's kind of the kick in the can. Alright? I don't post things unless they work 100% of the time. So... This is, this is where... This is where there is a strong difference between what we do and what the Dauntless official people do. Alright? Even if you were to... Handicap yourself... Not only would you not die... Alright? The kill time is certainly not gonna take not gonna take an uh, 30 minutes as claimed. All right, what is gonna happen, however, is that oops, almost felt like doing that. Almost felt like going in. But basically, as long as you're literally swinging at the behemoth, you cannot lose. So, like I said, these people they don't want you to have good builds. All right, they do not want you to have anything that remotely resembles a working build because if you do, if you have that stuff, oops, accidentally hit the potion button. Didn't mean to. Huh, playing one-handed is harder than I thought. I will literally keep this hand up here the entire time. So, watch, look, even though I'm taking so many hits, it doesn't even matter. It really doesn't, okay? It really doesn't. There you go. The thing is almost dead. So, when these people post their blatant lies, I'm telling you, they do this because they know that if you guys use robot builds, the content is trivialized. The content is made easy. Or rather, not even a robot build, if you use any build that is supported on my channel, the content is trivialized. There you go. There you go. I kept this left hand of mine up here this entire time. Did it increase my kill time by double? Yes. But would it ever take you half an hour to kill a behemoth? No. And this thing was one level above me. I wasn't even the same level. He said, I can't even kill something of the same level. Let's, let's take a look at the evidence again. Okay. I can barely kill same level with this. Did I take any hit point damage? And that is not even using the build correctly. That is not even using the build correctly at all. Alright? What happens if we use the build correctly? Alright? You guys ready for this? Okay. Supply crate. And you know what? This is this is what we do. If you don't want to use catalyst, it's totally okay. You use etheric attunement instead. Yeah? Let's go toward this uh, Iceborne Nasher. What happens when you use the build correctly? Okay, against creatures two to three levels above you. 
You guys ready for this shit? Yeah, man. Now, if used correctly... You can really do a lot of badass stuff, okay? This is what I like about it. This is what I like about this because the fact of the matter is, okay, you don't need, you don't need like hyper focus. You don't need a lot of insane stuff. If you correctly use everything that you have, you can very easily devastate behemoths in a matter of moments, and this is without any tonics. Now, I did showcase 11 levels higher, but as you can see, there's very little you need to do. Take your hand off, have a, have a little rest, don't, get, don't give yourself carpal tunnel syndrome, and take note, we have an elemental disadvantage here. So, bada bing, bada boom, it's done. I wanted to bring this to your attention because, like I said, I have never been able to really post the kind of proof that I wanted to, to showcase to you guys that uh, the officials want you guys to fail but now i can so this is my sharing with you the official guys absolutely want you to fail and that is why they try so hard to push down good builds so i hope that this video helps you guys out all right don't forget to like share and subscribe and rather than giving dauntless money if you want to support content for dauntless i make videos all the time just drop a tip via the link in the description of the video that's all it's better spending for your money anyway Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one, okay? Y'all have a good one now.